Let's get rigged up. So since I'm sitting out here in the canoe and I'm just tossing it not too far from the canoe, I don't really need a heavy weight. I'm just going to add a one ounce no roll sinker and I'm gonna put a little bead, tie on my swivel and I'm just gonna use a polymer knot. My main line here is a 25 pound uh, the Berkeley Big Game and I like this high-vis green simply because I can see my line a lot better. Alright so the leader line that I'm using is just this 12-pound uh, floral carbon by Seaguar. And then the hook is a number four Gamagatsu octopus. Tie my hook on. I like to leave my leader line oh, about like a good maybe foot, foot and a half. Now I just run my leader through the other end of this barrel swivel. Run my hook back into this loop. And that is it. Simple, simple. Just gotta get a nice chunk of cut bait. And then I'm set. Make sure that hook is clean. That's a nice little morsel. I'm just gonna toss this out right there. I'm gonna set this one in a rod holder. Since this rod's got a clicker, I'll just put the clicker on. And that way, if it decides to run off with it, I'll know. Here we go. First cat of the morning. Let's get him over on this side. There we go. There you go. Save my bait. You can definitely reuse it. Alright. Here's the first cat of the morning here. This guy came up and picked up the, uh, the cut bait. Let's get this guy back in the water. And there he goes. Let's get this bait back out there. I have one on. Yep. Here we go. This guy swam off the other way, way back there. Big guy. Let's get the net, come on. Oh, there we go.
here we go. Here's this big guy here. All right, let's get this guy out for you all to see. Get him out. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this guy. Right there, guys. This guy came up and picked up the cub bait. He picked it up and I didn't even know he was on the other end. He just started swimming off with it and I reeled up the slack and he was just there. Let's get this guy back. Let's see, I might be able to get away with this same cup bait again. Oh. Here we go, doubled up. I, I got one right here. Here we go. This guy was too busy reeling this one up and this guy came up and took it. For sure. These cats are out to play today. He might be hung up in my anchor line. Let's see if I can get him up. I'm not sure if he's... Come on, there we go. There we go, come on. Oh. He might be hung up on my other line. Better cut him some slack, let him run. Another beauty. Another beautiful channel cat. Oh. Yeah, this guy's got my other line. He's got it all tangled up. I got one heck of a tangle to I'm gonna let me reel this one up just to make sure I don't mess this up. This one's snagged up. All right, I'm snagged up over here. This guy's another beautiful giant. Oh my God, look at this. Oh. Look at this guy right here. Beautiful. River Channel Cat. This guy's, he's got some unique markings on him, but man, this guy came up and took it right when I was just getting the other rod back out after I caught that, that other giant. But let's get this guy back in the water. There he goes. That's two back-to-back -back fish and now I gotta <laughs> deal with this snag this one just hit grabbed it but he dropped it these rods are in the rod holder and uh, they got circle hooks on them so they grab the bait and run with it. They should hook themselves. Do all the work for me. 
So basically I got these both the rods out and they're just right off the bottom. Just right underneath. Right here. Just need that fish to grab it. There we go. This guy. Hooked up. Oh. He broke off. He broke off. Had him on for a sec. I waited a little bit too long and um, ran with it and I can feel him rubbing up against the rocks and I lost him in the rocks. So just retied, rebaited and back to the waiting game. Guys, take Let's gauge it. There we go. <laughs> this guy's pulling me away. I don't want to go away just yet. Let's get back over here. I might have to drop a anchor on down back here just to keep me from from moving from this spot. But let's let's first get let's first take care of this guy. Come on, get over here. Not too big. Here we go. Fourth cat of the day. I might end up keeping one. I know that Brady, my son loves eating catfish. So I might keep one later on, but this guy here, it's a good eater sized fish, but I'm gonna let this guy go for now. All right, I think I'm gonna drop an anchor just right down here, just to stop me from moving. Come on, I gotta pick up some cats with these two fresh bait I just put down. Come on. Oh, oh, there we go. You gotta be kidding me, right? Oh, he's back on. Here we go. Finally. There we go. Oh, what? I can feel him in the rocks. Gotta get him out. Pulling drag. Get the net out. Man, that's what I love about cats. Man, they they fight so good. This guy came up and hit it once. I thought I had him missed them he came right back around and got him the second time man these guys just don't they don't give up come on Here we go. In the net. 
let's just bring him right in. There we go. Look at that, a beautiful channel cat. This guy, you know, like I said, he came up once, he hit it once, missed him. He came right back around, second time and I got him. Awesome, awesome fish. Let me get this guy back in and hopefully we can catch some more. Soaked. After that fish, I'm completely soaked. 